I came to be part of the Tehara Roa trek. Um, I arrived in Broome uh, in uh, May, and um, after a few days of being on the um, campsite here in Broome, I noticed that my neighbour was either at work or on the laptop in her tent. So uh, I asked her what she was doing all the time on her laptop, and um, she started telling me about the trek and um, and her plans to do the trek. And I just thought. I want to go straight away and she said to me oh so many people have said oh yeah that sounds great I'd love to and then sort of been like bye and uh, so a couple of days later I went to Shane and said I'm serious I, I want to come on the trek and uh, so she had a think and and here I am just the knowing that it was a new thing a new pathway a new trail that had is well currently being built not yet completed so we would be two of, you know two of the first people um, to try and do that new pathway. Um, also, um, just the sheer uh, sort of monstrosity <laughs> of the um, of the um, adventure and the trek would have to sort of do 3,000 kilometres with everything on our backs. And although I've done a lot of trekking before, it was nothing on this scale. So it was just I like setting myself physical challenges and to do something for myself but whilst raising money for somebody else is something that, you know I think I'm going to be really proud of at the end. It's been really good fun actually. Um, I've really enjoyed the um, contacting the companies and the, sort of the marketing and it's at one time I think we both felt like it was sort of us two um, getting swallowed up by a, a big long list of things to do but um, contacting every time we get positive response even if it's just sorry we can't help but what you're doing sounds great it's just you know really great to know that we're um, we're supported and and what we're doing is is really um, creating awareness and you know for me even if we don't get supporters or sorry if we don't get sponsors or um, anything else you know we've definitely um, got awareness out there and sort of spoken to a lot of people and um, that spreading the word is as um, obviously raising a lot of money for um, the Indigo Foundation and their Solomon Islands project um, to, to see that money make a difference in one particular community is going to be just fantastic um, and also just the sheer personal um, experience. I mean, it's, I've never heard a bad word said against the New Zealand countryside or New Zealand at all. Um, and to see it on foot um, over the space of five months is just going to be incredible. So, I think really that the personal, um, the personal accomplishment, as well as um, um, raising the money and seeing where that money's going. Is